All right, and welcome back. We're here to do another uh, review, uh, another robot kit review. This time around, we're doing a kit review on FingerTech Robotics. Now, we just received this in the mail. Now, they're based out of uh, Canada, actually, from what I understand. And uh, let's just open it up, the box, and see what we've got in store for us here. So, as you can see here, this is the uh, FingerTech. Sorry about that. We're having some uh, Zoom issues here. Okay, so this is the FingerTech Viper Robot Starter Kit. Now, this is an RC kit, so it's not autonomous just yet, but you can easily take this kit and do whatever you want with it. Um, what else can we expect is we have a manual here on the Starter RC Robot Kit. So this is a, I'm assuming, fully color manual that tells us step by step on what we need to do on how to build the unit. Okay, it looks illustrated, so it looks pretty nice. Yet another nice thing about this kit, which is uh, new to me, I haven't seen other kits do this before, but they actually include a standard six channel RC uh, remote control. And alongside with that, they include the receiver, which is a mini receiver from what it looks like. There we go. And it also includes a USB cable, so I'm assuming this is computer programmable. And that is it. There is nothing else in the box. So that's a quick introduction to this. Uh, the next video we'll be talking about building it and actually what we need to be doing. Um, let's just, before we stop, let's just quickly thumb through the manual that's included in the kit to see what we can expect here. So, um, you know, basically it's table of contents, what's included in your kit, some precursors tools, you're going to need a soldering iron, you're going to need some uh, helping hands as they call them, the one with the alligator clips. Uh, that's always optional. A heat gun, well, for this project, we're probably going to use a lighter instead of a heat gun because uh, try to cut down on the cost for everybody out there. And uh, a couple other things, you know, pliers, nylon battery, electrical tape, etc., etc., etc. And let's see, just quickly selling through safety, safety, uh, batteries, okay. So, yep, we're going to have to be soldering some wires onto the motors uh, for the on and off switch. That's what it looks like so far. Chassis build out wheels only includes two wheels, so that's a seems like a simple design. That's about it. And uh, let's see, yeah, that's about it. You're gonna need two nine volt batteries to drive the unit. Oh, look at this on the back, they actually include some things, some more ideas. So, I'm not sure if you can see that out there in the video, but uh, basically, some more ideas so they give you, uh, you know, uh, looks like you have a wall following unit, a race car, uh, one with a gripper on it. Um, one following uh, a light, a room mapper, uh, let's see here, so omnidirectional, so it's got different wheels on there that allow it to move around differently. Yeah, let's see what else we got here. We got a bulldozer, um, battle bot, art bot, soccer bot, firefighting bot, and a sumo bot. So it looks like you can do about 12, uh, which are readily illustrated here, uh, projects with this kit. But we're just going to start off with just the basics of construction. So in the next video, expect to see that, and we'll see you soon.